Alrighty, hello Internet Wolfman Doom Gaming here and welcome to Well, if you don't know what this is, then what are you doing on this channel? <laughs> no, no, welcome to Super Mario Brothers. Um I wanted to do a stream, but I don't know, my 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 modem or my router is being stupid. It's not my internet because I can I can still, you know, make videos and my connection is getting, you know, more than, you know, more than I'm paying for and I'm paying for a lot, but I can't stream. I cannot stream and I don't know why. It's all whatever. It's not a huge deal. I can still record. I can still upload. So fluff it. Um, so yeah, so I can't do a stream. I just want to relax do a stream, but say like, you know, whatever we're going to record. I want to try and beat this game in one sitting. I'm going to take a lot of shortcuts. I can't guarantee, but I don't know what else to do with time right now. I'm, I'm bored. And I'm just like, I want to do something besides sitting here watching crap on TV. So I obviously grew up playing this. I mean, you know, I, I've been... I've been gaming on this since I was little. You know, like, like most people in my age bracket. Super Mario Brothers was my, uh, my starting point in my, uh, my love of video games. You know, started off in this. Well, that and obviously the original, uh, Legend of Zelda. But still, it's like... Super Mario Brothers is just like an iconic game. Yeah. I, I don't think everything that's has happened to it, all the popularity it's got, I, I really don't think that uh, Miyamoto ever thought that his games would get this popular. And I, and I think as, the, as a developer, you hope your game does good. I, I think it's just a common understanding, I would hope, that your game does good. It, it leaves a mark on society. But, I mean, around this time, games were still... I mean, games were more established, but not really, you know? Gaming... I don't know where I was going with that statement. Like, basically, when I, when I was growing up, I was born in 1983, the Nintendo came out in 82, I think, 81. So, I mean, video, game, video games in, in, their, in their entirety really haven't been around that long, and it's just, I don't know, it's one of those things, I, you know, and there was the, uh, you know, the whole iconic market crash one before I was even born I mean video games have always been around I mean as you saw when the earlier uh that was easy on uh, the uh the Nintendo Switch controller I had a classic controller I could do this no problem yeah that's too fast a maneuver to get under there, right? I can slide under no problem. It's just with this controller, it's... Unfortunately, with the newer controllers, they're made for precision. And they're made for faster games, but they aren't made for older games. Let's put it that way. But yeah, I mean, this is, you know, I grew up playing this game, like I said, I grew up around video games, they were just a part of my life, and I always wonder what the kind of person that would be if it wasn't for video games. I know a lot of people was like, oh, that's a, that's a silly question, it's just, uh, they're just video games, like, no, this is, these aren't just video games anymore. <clears throat> They've transcended, you know, to the media. They, they've become more than just video games. They've, they've turned into, 
you know, not really a way of life, but just, like, I don't know, they were never able to put it. They just, they've, they've gone beyond just being video games, let's put it that way. So, I don't know. Look at them, uh, non-intentional skills. One thing that's funny, though, is I've seen a lot of these newer games coming out, and it's like... <clears throat> wise kids are like, oh, these games are hard! It's like, you don't know how hard it is. Try playing some of these old NES games back when there was nothing else. Back when there wasn't, you know... Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and, and all that, when it was just, you know, NES, and, and if you lived near one, possibly an arcade. <clears throat> you know, if you, if you bought a game and, and the game sucked, well, it's the way it was. You know, if you wanted to, to see a game through, you had to play it for a long time. You had to get better and better at it. And, like, oops, saw that happening. I played a lot, a lot of games in the NES that were harder than they should have been, and it's just, because a lot, it, well, the main reason was because, um, hold on, I'll get this mushroom real quick. That's not an actual life, that's a mushroom. Um, a lot of reasons some games are harder than they should be is because some of them are, are remnants of, uh, the, uh, the arcade age. Some games are hard because it made you, you know, you're supposed to, like, waste quarters on it and stuff, and... As you can tell, I'm not paying attention. I'm, like, just trying to not die. Whee! But yeah, if you're if you're playing like, like a game like uh then nuts. Like Ghosts and Goblins, let's say. Ghosts and Goblins is a perfect example of an old arcade game that was ported to a home console that still has the hardness to it and the remnants of all old arcade age. Meaning the game is hard and it's supposed to be hard, it's supposed to be ridiculous. Because you were supposed to keep pumping quarters into it to try and get to the next level. Now that's how it was back in the day, you know. It's one thing that a lot of these kids will never know, too, is... Ah, sugar. Um, you know, going to an arcade and... I mean, you, you can still find arcades, I'm sure there's some, you know, and... Um... I know there's some here and there, but, ah, sugar. But, like, going to an arcade and actually putting quarters in, or, I mean, I was never, um, I was never really around during the actual, like, arcade age, you know, where you actually, like, worked hard for your money, or, you know, and then you actually, you know, took your allowance to an arcade. I mean, I... I went to one here and there as a kid, but it was only because I was a video game fanatic. Go, go, go! Ash! Sugar. <clears throat> Darn, I start over again. And this is the other thing, too, like, Older games were hard, they were challenging, you know, a lot of newer games you can save where you want to, where there's, uh, you know, there's, uh, auto-saving and all that stuff, and it's another thing that wasn't, you know, like, back in the old days when a game for the NES could save, it had a battery in it, it had a battery about the size of, like, one of those little, like, seesaws in it. 
and yeah, you know, that's all it was. And once that battery ran out, your game couldn't save anymore. But the problem was too. Oh yeah, what the heck is over right through? Is those batteries weren't the best either. Um. I'm probably gonna die here. I'm probably gonna start over, unfortunately. But, uh. If he, uh. The game could also get corrupted when, when booting up and. Darn it. The save data could be deleted. You know, that happening. I said in an old, older video I did a couple days ago about. You know, using something like a, like a, like a cheating device on like a, like a game with a save state you were running a very high risk of just not keeping your save. I know a hammer killed me. I don't know which one killed me. Yep, looks like we're doing this again. I probably get a total of like three tries. I don't see making it past this time, so um darn it. Um oop. So I'm gonna try one more time. Hey, it worked. A little bit of cheating, but it's our back on eight one at least. That was our start all the way over. That was other thing too. These older games, a lot of the older games that have continued. So once you died, that was it. To start all over again, and. You won't see games doing that nowadays. A lot of games don't don't have the mentality, and if a game does have it, it's so unheard of, it's ridiculous. I remember the first time I heard about it was a game that came out a few years ago that had that where once you died, that was it. There was no continues, there was no saving. But at that point, you know, saving and game was fairly established, so having a, a save file with, 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 a, with a permadeath in it was like, was weird. But I, I forgot that I grew up like that, but for some reason I didn't think of that at the time. I remember there was one game, I think it was for the Xbox, um, I'm sure you guys might remember it. It was a, uh, I never played it, but I know about it. It was a, a mech game. And you had this console, and when you were about to, really? Really? When you were about to die, it would your mech to explode if you, uh, you had to hit the eject button on this console. And if you didn't do it, it would, uh, erase your, uh, your save file upon death. And that was really like a, a a neat thing and a weird thing. I'm uh making a full melt myself, aren't I? <laughs> uh man. Oops. Let's see if I can leave the extra life. Well, right, I'm gonna start over. This this is the last time. Have we done? <laughs> uh, I've gotten spoiled, you know. I'm spoiled with these old, these newer games. I've gotten back the old ones. I remember so much about these games. I forgot how to play them. That's one thing I've been trying to do. I've been wanting to uh, play some of the older games. 
I actually bought stuff from Walmart earlier. It didn't work the way I hoped it would. It was to allow um, older systems to work on a modern TV, but it still didn't work right. I know my PS3 can play PS1 games. I have actually... I don't think I tried that on this TV. I don't know how it will work. I, I know there's also uh, companies online that make stuff. It's like crazy expensive to play... Uh, you know, older systems. I wish I had a, um, an old boob TV. I could at least could, you know, transfer the save, you know, the, the, the signal from the CRT to, um, you know, an HD, you know, however it works. I don't know, man. It's one thing I definitely want to do one day, if I ever get the money or the time, or just the know-how, is to be able to play old games and old systems, you know, over again, like they're brand, they're brand, you know, not brand new, but just like, you know, the old days. That was one thing too when they remade a lot of the uh, the classic systems. People found ways to mod them and and uh, you have to put classic games in them. But then um, Nintendo finally, after so many years. It's kind of like, oh, hey, there's ROMs online, and, uh, it's illegal. No, so, thanks to those morons, now we can't play any more ROMs. Which sucks. So unless you have a, a modded system that you can play the original, you're, uh, you're SOL. Unless you have the classic system that's modded and you're selling it, or you have a system like this, a Nintendo Switch. I remember back being first introduced to ROMs, my, my one friend um, showed me ROMs. I was like, what is this? You know, playing Super Mario Brothers on, on, a, on, a, on a keyboard, you know was like the craziest thing to me it was so weird it was hard i never did really get used to it but it was a cool way to uh to play a lot of the classic games you know you know we'll go to my brother's house and we will play you know older games, you know, using a computer, it was just, it was nice, you know, it was just, I don't know, ROMs were a cool thing, I'm gonna miss them, and I know, I know you can still get them, and I know it's like, if you have them, it's highly illegal, crap, and Nintendo will will find you. Speaking of uh, suing, I heard recently um, there was a uh, somebody made a uh, a Super Mario 64 game that ran with a computer, and the thing was that it wasn't like a port. It wasn't you know pulled. The code wasn't the code wasn't pulled from. The cartridge, it was, you know, I don't know if it was rebuilt, but it was basically made to run on a computer. It wasn't crap. It was just, it was cool that that was a thing. Of course, Nintendo quickly was like, um, yeah, you can't do that. That's, that's illegal. Yeah. 
It, it sucks. I, I I understand the yeah, Nintendo's point. I really do. Oh jeez. Uh, I got three more times just to do this, then we're gonna be done. But um, most people are mad over it. I can understand their point. Nintendo's mad. I understand Nintendo's point of view too. It's like, imagine if you made something, no matter what it was, you made something, and then somebody else came along and remade your product and started distribu distributing it and you weren't getting money for it anymore. Or they were reselling it under the guise that it was something they made. I don't care who you are, if you create something, as long as you really don't care, you're going to care. And that sounds a little weird, but if you if you made a product, no matter what it was, with the intent of making money on it, and then somebody else came along and stole your idea, and then profited off your idea, yeah, you're going to be mad. I mean, personally, I don't care. I, I'm a... Uh, I know uh, Kojima's like that too. He's like, you know, the same way I, I think on that on that one subject, which is it's something that we, we we can create. And I have created some games in the, in the past, um, but it's something that 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 was created that I created can inspire someone else. You know, using my idea, then then go for it. You know, it, I don't. You know, I don't see it as thievery. I see it as flattery because somebody liked my idea enough. I want to steal it. And back when I made my my games, that yeah, crap. And they weren't anything amazing. I mean, they were crappy little games made of MS Paint. I mean, but I had the same the same thoughts. It's like if I ever made a game, you know, and I, I tend to make money on it, and somebody else came along and, and took my ideas and and stole them, I would be mad. I could just see it as, as a flattery. I'm just trying to concentrate. I'm like dying here for the 15 bazillion of time. But this is the last time. This is my third playthrough. If I die on this one, then we're we're done. It. Get two more tries and we're done. I feel like it's been like half an hour. I know it hasn't been. I feel like it's been like half an hour. That ah, crap. All right, last try. But anyways, um, yeah, like I said I was trying to do a live stream. Internet wasn't working right. Um, but I ended up probably buying a new um modem and router. I I think I think the router is being stupid, or it's the modem because. I know you're supposed to be able to bypass a router and plug a computer right into the modem. It's not good to or wise, but you can. A router is only there to redisperse information, obviously make it into a Wi-Fi signal or just to hook other devices into it. But it, you know, something is giving me issues, and I don't know what. So, it was fine. It, it was fine. And, like, the internet still works. I can go online. I can do a speed test. I'm getting, I'm paying for 300 download. I'm, and I think 11 upload. And I'm getting 300 plus download and, and, and 12 plus upload. So, I mean, the, the, what's going in and coming out is working. And I can go online and I can play a game. I, mean, I can go on, like, 
VR chat and I can connect with the world, no problem. I can go online and load the internet like, like that. And it was fine. That's the thing too. It was fine. All of a sudden recently, it has been working right. And actually for a while when I got my new computer, I was trying a VR chat to work and it wouldn't work. And I went to uh, talk to uh, the makers of it and they're like, well, your computer is just not connecting to the network. And after I uh, reset the router, it was already working right. Which would tell me that the router or the modem is just not getting a proper signal. Something isn't communicating right. And yes, I've unplugged it. I've done it for the proper time. I haven't contacted my my uh, my ISP yet. Um, the reason being, it still it still seems to work right. I don't really think it's anything to do with what's outside or inside. And plus, um, I'm in a shared house, and we all run off the same line coming into the house. If my internet was having problems, theirs would be too. And mine still works fine. It still works like it should be. Nothing is slow. It seems to be more the, the, the modem or the router causing issues. I don't know. Enough yammering. No, I can yammer all day. I should be in the radio. <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I hardly failed at this. I haven't played the original Super Mario Brothers in so long. Um, but I'm not going to sit here all night and uh, try to do this over and over again. I want to thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, I will be working on getting my internet back up and running properly so I can stream again. I do miss streaming. Um, recording has been easier just because my, my life, the way everything's going, recording has just been a lot more easier. But um, I do miss streaming. I really do because streaming it was just fun to do. Anyways, I'm done with yammering. I'm done with talking. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.